Hey, Milorad here. Today I'm going to cook a special dish that is from Bosnia. It's, um, it actually came from Turkey to the Bosnia and Bosnia became a national dish of Bosnia. And because I am from Bosnia, I'm going to cook that dish for myself. And, uh, but with a little twist that I will show you right now what I mean. Okay, first let me talk about ingredients. We have three big onions here. We have some uh, peppers and zucchini. And that would be second dish. First three with onions is going to be a classic dish and it's called Sogan Dolma. And it's going to be, that, that means uh, stuffed uh, onions. Okay. And then we have a rice. We have a rice here, but also, as I always do, I put a little bit of twist here. I have some wild rice mixed with regular rice. And then here we have uh, that the biggest twist that it is. We have a natural bison meat, ground bison. That's kind of um, twist that I'm going to put in this traditional dish. And then here we have other ingredients. We will add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. We have tomato um, sauce. sauce here. We have chopped onions. We have a little bit of carrots chopped here. And this is another thing that I'm going to put in. And here is another add that I will put in. This is habanero pepper. It's very hot hot pepper and that's what I'm going to put in because I like hot food. Two herbs, one is cilantro because um, I want to put uh, parsley but it's very difficult to find parsley here. Cilantro is available and it's similar. And here we have a special herb that I love so much and it's called dill. And I finally found it here in the, in the store. It was Mediterranean store and I will use that as well. And I think I covered every ingredient that we're going to put in. And I will uh, now go and prepare all these and, um, and then start cooking Sogan Dolma with a twist. Thank you. Okay, first thing is I'm going to uh, cut these onions. I'm going to cut the top. and the bottom and this is just to make them uh, flat that they can sit in the pot and that they can sit flat like this okay and I will do for all three of these onions and this is another uh, kind of uh, departure of the original um, a recipe or original ingredients in the dish I'm going to use three different kind of onions here we have that I'm cutting right now it's white onion we have yellow onion and we have red onion and I'm going to use all three of them we have onions ready to boil. I'm using this hot water. We decide to change the pot because this one is a little bit deeper and we can cover onions completely into this one. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, this, this one is ready, let's see yellow onion, yellow onion is ready too, and 
Okay, onions are ready. Let me open this ground bison meat. We'll add rice. We will chop onions, chopped dill that I love so much, and I say that already. And then here we have chopped cilantro that we're going to add into this meat and rice. And then we have a little bit of carrots chopped, more onions, uh, yellow onions. There's a garlic, a ripe chopped garlic here, two cloves of garlic. Here we have that habanero pepper chopped. Nobody will probably use that. This is only for me very hot okay I will mix this now and then we will add uh, herbs and spices that we did not talk about before okay I mix this ingredients already now we're going to add spices and herbs okay this is a famous seasoning it's called Vegeta is from Croatia and that was the part of former Yugoslavia same as Bosnia and we use this thing in into everything okay we have some seasoning here I will put a little bit and we have a pepper and then we have this seasoning that is made by Vispak Visoko. And that city is 20 kilometers or 15 miles from where I lived. Okay, and this is a, a mix of spices and herbs for here it says Sharena Dolma. That means uh, multicolor dolma or stuffed, and they have this uh, stuffed. Um, this is pepper. This is onion. Uh, this is tomato. This is zucchini. They have uh, grape leaves stuffed, and they have this uh, uh, onion stuffed. And I will use this uh, and put a little bit here into this into this mix. Maybe, maybe. A little bit of olive oil because this uh, bison meat that we bought, ground bison, is kind of lean and we need to add a little bit of, of oil into this. This mixture is ready and I need to start working to separate those onions. These onions are uh, cooled down a little bit and now we need to separate all these uh, onion rings and that's the most difficult part of all this. Okay, okay, this is a very nice little one that I'm going to use. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful one. Whole thing. Okay, here I have this, the biggest one, but this outer one doesn't look, you see, it doesn't look really good. And I'm going to peel it and throw it away. Okay. 
Okay, okay. This this is uh, two of of those onion rings here, and I will keep it like this because I want actually to taste to taste onion as well. Okay, we got this very nice one, and as you can see, they are smaller and smaller. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, I may use the other for different. Now let's do this. Okay, this one comes out much, much easier. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. This one comes uh, much, much easier than uh, white because white onion was actually very very hard to begin with and I probably should uh, cook it a little bit longer than other two okay let's see this yellow okay I may not use that first layer oh this is beautiful Oops. Okay. Okay, this is good. And okay. Now I will probably separate all these and make a second dish that is going to be onions, uh, zucchini, yellow squash and peppers as well and I will add a little bit of olive oil as well okay now what I'm going to do with this I will kind of make a little little um, base that will sit on, on on the bottom and then at the top of that I will start putting those uh, sogan dolmas Okay, here I will add this tomato. These are uh, part of the, those uh, boiled onions that are too small to stuff. And I will just go and fry them here a little bit. Okay. This is like a base is done, but we will put a um, little bit just to cover bottom the other part that we will cook that uh, zucchini, stuffed zucchini, peppers and also onions. And this one is the main um, part where we're going to cook sogan dolma. Hey, let's stuffing begin. Okay, there's this onion and there's the stuffing. We will kind of stuff it just a little bit over half and it goes into this sauce okay we have one ready I think that was white onion this is yellow just a little bit more okay and now let's do this beautiful color of red onion. It's called a purple. Hmm? Isn't that purple onion? Purple. Okay. Purple. Thank you. Purple onion. Not red, but purple. Okay. Purple goes here. This is big kahuna purple. 
Is it purple? Mm -hmm. Okay, purple, big kahuna, purple. This is a uh, half a pound. Okay. There's a beautiful, a little bit smaller. I think it's yellow. Yellow onion. Okay. It's going right there. Okay. And we have this white onion. Are you taking this in the film? This my beautiful working of my fingers. Okay. Right here we have, oh, this is a good one. Wait. No. <laughs> There's a white, big white onion. I think it's, it's actually two, two layers. Uh, and that's okay. I like it. Okay, that goes here. Okay, we have space for a couple smaller ones. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. I thought we would have too much stuffing, but it's kind of disappearing. Okay, is there any more space? Maybe right here. Okay. A little. Maybe this one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and this one, uh, look at this one. It's kind of almost broken. Ring is broken. And that's okay because um, some people they stuff it this way. You see now when you have these leaves broken, you can kind of fold it into itself, and you still have a good, good-looking piece. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, this is good. Uh, we have two left, and uh, I think we can, at least one, we can kind of fit it in. I'm beautiful. Okay, okay. This is good. Okay, and now I will go and stuff the other one. Okay, here we are stuffing this uh, yellow squash zucchini using the same stuffing and it will go into this smaller um, pot. Okay, here we have um, a little pepper. This is just sweet sweet pepper that we use practically every day and uh, and then there's this uh, white onion and I will stuff it um, and roll it kind of more like um, like a different way of rolling it okay now let's go back to this yellow squash 
zucchini. I'm not sure if it's also called zucchini, but it's yellow squash for sure. Okay. And um, let's finish with the squash. And then we need to kind of fill the the rest of the space there. Okay, a couple of small uh, rolled roll ends. Oh, this one is beautiful, beautiful shape. Ooh, look at this one. I don't see anything here. Oh, right here. And this purple. Okay, and we have this for the rest. This little leftover. See, I thought we will have too much of stuffing, but that's not the case. Okay, you can go here, you can go here, we can break this and just put it here. Here, just to give a little bit more flavor. Uh, we have uh, Sogan Dolmans ready in the pot, and we will use this water that we boiled onions, and we will put it all, fill it all just to go a little bit over okay maybe one more and then uh, this one too this one looks very nice beautiful colors and everything Okay, now maybe you can see here when I added water, it's kind of there's some empty space, and when it starts boiling, all these uh, sogan dolmas or stuffed whatever here is will start kind of jumping around. And the, the trick is how to prevent that is to put the plate at the top and this will kind of keep it from jumping all over the place okay and now we will we will let it boil first on a high heat and maybe keep it only for a couple minutes on high heat and then turn it down a little bit and simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes okay thank you very much we'll be right back Okay, here we can see this is uh, cooking very nicely. It's, it's boiling and everything. And I think maybe it's time to lower the temperature a little bit. And this one as well. 
Okay. And let's lower the temperature and we will keep it simmering. Here we have uh, two pans. We put a little bit of butter. And a little bit of olive oil. And if you're asking why and what I'm doing, I will tell you right now. This is what we're going to make a roux. And it's, uh, it's kind of thickening when all this is done. Uh, it, will, it will go into this pot and kind of thicken everything and put them together. And this is uh, what you need to do with how to do it. You need to... Let's just melt this butter first. And then we will add... Uh, we have um, flour. Just a regular flour. Okay. Uh, we'll add all these kind of ch chopped uh, leftovers. These are onions. They are pre-cooked, but they did not make a cut, and that's why we cut them. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay, we have more onions here. Okay, we need to move this. Flour. Okay. And then if we need some water, we can always use that water from take this roux different color. We're going to add this special ingredient. It's um, paprika, but this one is spicy, hot spicy. Paprika luta, this means spicy. And it's made the same company as making vegeta. Okay, you can see now we have this reddish color. Okay, now we are removing the plate that was holding this. And we will add this roux. And we will add those vegetables, those inside of, of those vegetables, okay? And now, we're going to do and now we will do it same with smaller one, okay? Okay. And I think we need a little bit of roux on the other one, on the smaller one. Do yeah. we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, paprika. Hot, hot, spicy paprika. A little bit of spice, but uh, mostly for color. And maybe too small. Uh, Cut, huh? Yeah, but okay. Okay. Okay, here, put it more here on this one. Okay. It's looking good. I just move this a little bit to incorporate them to make it kind of 
even. Whew. I can barely wait to eat that much. I'm going to eat probably one of each, one Sogan Dolma classic and maybe I will try this um, yellow squash, stuffed yellow squash zucchini and then the rest we will just put in the freezer, in the bag, separate them in the portion bags and freeze them for later. Okay. Wow, it looks good. Okay, here is just a view of these two uh, dishes boiling. I love it so much. Love the sound, love the smell, love everything about it. And decide to film it. Beautiful. Okay. Maybe I should just make a video with uh, this sound and boiling this. Oh, that's a good idea. I can make a video that it goes for 10 hours and just do this boiling sound of boiling and cooking like those videos when they put the um, um, sound of rain for 10 hours with, with the same, um, same picture or same video but it goes for 10 hours But this would be for foodies. Okay. Oops. I was too close. I got this vapor on my lens. Okay, I think that's it. We'll lower the temperature and keep it for another four or five minutes. Eight. I'm going to take this purple onion. I'm going to have. I think this is uh, white, it's a little bit smaller and I'm looking for yellow I think it's this one. Ooh, this is lots of food lots of food okay there it is Sogan Dolmas are done and ready we put a little bit of dill at the top and now I'm going to taste it and here we have a flatbread and here we have a sour cream and um, let me go and check it You can see wild rice. Okay, let me grab one with onions as well. Mm. It's so good, it's unbelievable.
unbelievable. This onion is cooked, it just melts in your mouth. You cannot even bite into it. But it's still kind of keeping the shape like like here. It still keep the shape and then when you when you put it in the mouth it just melts. And this gr ground bison, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic. I'm so happy that I did this dish. And I'm going to enjoy the rest, but we will be back with, I want to try one uh, yellow squash stuffed. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we will uh, find and try this uh, zucchini and I think I took the smaller one okay and because I'm already full from Sogan Dolma now I'm going to use just this one pepper and uh, this stuffed uh, squash yellow squash. Now I'm going to taste this uh, stuffed white yellow um, <laughs> yellow squash or zucchini and we will go and also taste this pepper stuffed pepper but uh, I'm still under that beautiful dish Sogan Dolma. Uh, let me try this. Hmm. Yeah, you can you can uh, you can taste uh, zucchini. Or squash. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Maybe a little bit too spicy for everybody, but I didn't think anybody else will even try, but my wife did. It was way too spicy for her, but I love it. Just love it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think this was my best, my best cooking ever. I mean, so far, it's just unbelievable, tasty, and uh, I just love it so much. It's unbelievable. So happy. Thank you very much. Milorad out.